Well, the compiler, the optimizer can do many wonderful transformations. How you write your code can have a big impact uh, because the compiler has to obey certain language specifications as well as uh, basically ability to detect what your intent are. So very simple things and you follow can make a drastic difference. So here is a loop with uh, basically the loop termination condition is a bit complex here. So you have certain array being accessed and the index of the array is being auto increment uh, post incremented and the value when it the value of the array uh, becomes uh, zero the loop terminates. Now the same thing can be accomplished in the source code by using a simpler condition. So the incrementing has been moved from the loop uh, condition. It has explicitly incremented in the body of the loop. Now logically they are same, but from an optimizer point of view, they are quite different. So if you look at it, basically this is nothing but this is the how it will be implemented. This is a pseudo code here, uh, not the assembly code. So basically this value of i is incremented, increment the operand and then use it as a index to the array, compare the termination condition and based on that either you stop the loop or go to the loop. On the other hand, this translates to basically if the you know the end terminal condition is true go to the uh, no loop otherwise increment now how different is this so if the value of i after the loop is irrelevant it is better to place the increment inside the loop body the second version can be executed without a temporary variable so this temporary variable is not required here <clears throat> the reason is that the C standard uh, you know, specification semantics of post increment states that the result of the post, post fix plus plus operator is the value of the operand. After the result is obtained, the value of the operand is incremented. So if you take i as the operand, plus plus is the operator. Now the it requires the specification language specification semantics requires that you first get the value of i and then increment that. So that means there is a temporary variable required here. <clears throat> so while it is fairly common that microcontrollers have an addressing mode that can increment a pointer after a load or store operation, very few microcontrollers can handle post increment of other types other than address types, which is non-pointer. Uh, with the same efficiency. So they need to use a temporary variable and uh, do the increment. So to comply with the standard, the comp compiler may have to copy the operand to a temporary variable or a register before doing the increment. It is often better to split up in general complex expressions into several simpler expressions because when the loop condition above was divided into a test and an increment, it became more uh, efficient. So in general, it helps the optimizer not to have complex conditions inside a loop termination. Instead, you move it to the body. The compiler is capable of analyzing how to optimize these operations independent of the loop. So combining them confuses the compiler. 